Which one's better, fixed or mechanical broadheads? I'm going to answer that question on this episode of Death by Bungie. The age-old question of whether the fixed or the mechanical broadhead is better, I finally have an answer for you. And the answer to that is quite simply, whichever one is the most accurate with your crossbow. It's that simple. It doesn't get much more complicated than that. The reality is the fixed broadheads don't have quite the cutting size, the cutting diameter that you'll see on the mechanicals, but that doesn't matter necessarily because accuracy is all that matters when it comes to shooting a deer or any kind of wild game for that matter. When you're talking about the vitals, a small area that we need to target, that we need to aim at, and as long as you are accurately shooting, then you are going to kill that animal. I don't care which one of these two things you use. That's the truth. I have used the fixed broadhead and I've killed deer. I use a mechanical broadhead now and I've killed deer with that as well. I've lost deer with fixed broadheads and I have lost deer with mechanical broadheads. It really doesn't make any difference. The truth is accuracy is what made all the difference in the end as to whether I found those deer or not. This fixed broadhead is the Excalibur bolt cutter. It's a great broadhead, nice chisel tip, which I like. I like to see a chisel tip because that's how you break through bone. That's how you uh, enter the deer's vitals. You need that good uh, sharp chisel tip. Um, I don't like the bladed type tips, but that's just my preference. To me, a blade is more for cutting things. A blade is not for chiseling into things. So I want the, the bolt cutter. I want the chisel tip up front like the bolt cutter has here. And I want the nice sharp blade in the back to follow through and make all of the slices. Um, with the mechanical, what I really like about that is it's a little bit bigger cutting diameter. But it also, the, the, this is the X-Act from, from Excalibur. That also has the nice uh, chisel tip, just like the bolt cutter does on the end. If you look at the two of them end to end, they have basically the same tip. One other tip with both of these, it doesn't matter which one you use, make sure it's sharp. Now, if this is fresh out of the box, it should be sharp. That shouldn't be an issue. If you're using one of these, though, you can reuse a fixed broadhead. But because of the way that you, they're shipped, because of the way you transport them, uh, in the way that you store them. Uh, you want to make sure you store them in a container that's not going to let those blades get dinged up or dull. And then before you hunt, you're going to want to take something and go through and sharpen those blades really well to make sure that they're nice and sharp when you go out hunting. I don't sharpen these as a general rule when I go out hunting because these particular blades, these broadheads on these blades are never exposed. That's the nice thing about the mechanical is they fold up in there and I can store this in a, in a way that the overall broadhead is intact and I basically just have to make sure that it's okay. I started crossbow hunting with the bolt cutter, with the fixed broadhead. Now I did that because it came as part of the Excalibur package with my Excalibur Axiom with Bungie. Uh, that particular broadhead came with that package. Killed a lot of deer with it, really didn't have any trouble with it. I even shot a squirrel at 30 yards with it, so it's dead on accurate as long as your bow is sighted in. I really didn't have any problem with it. Uh, but essentially, you're going to want to make sure you keep them sharp. That's the only thing. The problem with, with the bolt cutter for me was just the fact that it's a 150 grain broadhead. That's great for big game. If you're shooting through deer, you do want a little extra weight. And on your faster bows, you probably do want the extra weight. Maybe you can uh, use the fixed broadhead for that reason if you have like a 400 or a 375 feet per second crossbow. You might want to use the extra weight. Uh, but go with your, ex with your manufacturer's recommendations on that as well. But essentially, I switched to the uh, X-Act broadhead, the mechanical, primarily because it's 100 grain. I had no trouble with, a bungee is only a, an Excalibur Axiom, shoots 305 feet per second on his best day. Uh, but he is an industrial crossbow, super strong, durable, easy to work with, low maintenance, and very reliable. And I appreciate that in my crossbow, and that's one of the reasons uh, that I gave it a name like bungee, because it is just phenomenal. Um, these mechanical broadheads that I use with it, I uh, went to the mechanical because it's squeezing a little bit more speed out of it. I've upgraded Bungie to the faster string as well, the Dynaflight Flemish string. Uh, so the, between that and the 100 grain broadhead, I should be shooting 305 or maybe a little bit better uh, with that crossbow. Two other points I'll give you about broadheads just to keep in mind. Number one, I am a big fan of using whatever the manufacturer recommends. 
Uh, in my case, I started with the bolt cutter from Excalibur, and I now use the X-Act from Excalibur. And the reason I do that is, is because they are made to work with my crossbow. Uh, the manufacturers, I don't care what manufacturer you're dealing with, as a general rule, they all do more research and development than you and I ever will. They have shot that bow, or a bow just like it, thousands of times more than I ever will. Uh, so they know more about it, and I'm not going to... Uh, go out there and second guess what they suggest. As a general rule, this is more than adequate. These little broadheads that I buy from Excalibur are perfect for my crossbow. As tempting as it is every year to go out there and try the latest and greatest broadhead, I stick with what the manufacturer recommends for my crossbow. The second thing I want to encourage you to do about broadheads is uh, forget about what people tell you on Facebook. Every once in a while you read something on Facebook where people are like, oh, I don't use mechanicals because I shot a deer with a mechanical and it didn't open and, and then I never found my deer. Well, if you never found the deer, how do you know it didn't open? That's the craziest, most reckless statement I've ever heard, and it is false on its face. The idea that a mechanical broadhead in this day and age doesn't open tells me that your shot was bad. That's pretty much all it was. This broadhead probably won't do its job if you shoot the deer in the neck, right? If you shoot it in muscle or if you shoot it in bone, it probably isn't going to give you the results as if you had made a proper shot and gotten that pass-through that we all aim for or that we should be aiming for. As a general rule, the same thing with the fixed broadhead. It's just as easy to see on Facebook or hear somebody say, well, boy, I don't want to use a fixed broadhead because I used one that doesn't have a big enough cutting diameter and I never found my deer. A proper shot is going to lead to a deer in the end with a blood trail if you make a proper shot with either one of these broadheads. But make sure that whichever broadhead you choose in the end, you sight it in with your crossbow and you use it and make sure that you are 100% confident when you pull the trigger that that arrow is going to go exactly where you want it to go. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip from Death by Bungie. Make sure you subscribe for future videos. Like us on the Facebook page for trail camera pictures and all that other fun stuff. And we'll see you next time right here on Death by Bungie.